I'm sorry. For what? You haven't stepped on my toes once. No, no, I'm, I'm not talking about that. I mean, I mean, I'm sorry for letting my mom push my buttons like that, you know? We're out celebrating my victory at work. I'm supposed to be here playing Family Feud, you know? No, it's okay. Look, no one understands mother trouble more than me. Just don't let it get to you, because I did, and it drove me to mess up big time. Yeah. I just hate that I'm insensitive to her like that, you know? Ethan could be dying, and, and, and what do I do? I bring up bad memories from the past and tell her that she used to favor him? It's just stupid. Okay, well, why don't we tell our parents that we'll go to the hospital tonight and we'll see him? That'll make her feel better. Yeah, well, I mean, we could, but we, we really can't, though. You know, visiting hours are over, so... Oh. There goes that idea. Mm, well, why don't we tell them that uh, we'll go to the church and we'll pray for him? Not tonight. Why not? Well, because tonight's supposed to be for us. Yeah. I mean, we can pray for Ethan. I think that we should pray for him, but we don't have to go to church to do it, right? Yeah, but what about getting things back on track with your mom? I'll take care of that. Tonight is a celebration of us, and, I mean, who knows, maybe, um, even another surprise. <laughs> what? Tell me. No, you'll see. You'll <laughs> see. Jessica's still not answering the phone. Oh, Sam, she's, she's exhausted. We all are. Just let her sleep and you can check on her as soon as you get home. Fox and Kay seem so happy together. Yes, they do, don't they? No, he's, he's, he's been good for her, you know? She's different around him. You know, more grounded, mature, self-assured. You know, Fox has it's been great for Kay. I think he brings out the best in her, don't you think? You know, we tried to help Fancy and Noah to stay a couple, but we didn't get very far. You know, maybe Fox and Kay is the romance that'll work out after all. Not if I have anything to do with it. We need to talk about Fox. <laughs> You don't want us to be together, blah, blah, blah. Only you're too late because we're a couple now. Well, I'd reconsider that, Kay. <laughs> Would you save the veiled threats for somebody who cares, Ivy? Because I'm not listening to you. Fox and I, we're staying together and there's nothing you can do about it. Kay, you know me better than that. You're right, Ivy. I do know you. I know how selfish and maniacal you can be. And what a hypocrite you are for thinking that I'm not good enough for Fox, when it's for damn sure that you're not good enough for my dad. So why don't we just call it even and just drop it, okay? I already have one son in the hospital fighting for his life because of a conniving bitch. Uh, I will not let Fox suffer the same fate, so just consider yourself warned. Right back at you, dear. Fox and I are together, and we are going to stay together, so you damn well better get used to it. I mean it, Kay. Stay away from Fox. I will not have both of my son's lives destroyed by scheming so much weight. Checked with the hospital. Ethan's still in critical condition. I'm sorry, Dad. Listen, Mom, Kay and I are going to go to the hospital first thing in the morning. Visiting hours start, so... Thank you, Fox. And listen, uh, what I said earlier, I, I'm sorry. You know, um, I don't want you to think that I don't care about Ethan, because I do. He's my brother. I care about him. You know, it's not his fault that you used to give him preferential treatment when we were kids, right? But, you know, like you said, that's all behind us. So, um, just move on. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. You know, I... I know I wasn't the best mother, but I keep trying to make up for it. I know you do. Okay. I love you for it, all right? Oh, and I love you too. Me too. And I only want the best for you. And I am determined to see that you get it. No matter what. <laughs>